Welcome back to the latest episode of This Guy's Thoughts. I always appreciate swinging by the channel to uh, see what I got going on. Uh, this episode here, taking a look at one from the Rheingeist Brewing Company out of Cincinnati, Ohio. This here is called Terror Bird. Now this is a limited release Imperial IPA. By the time this review actually releases on YouTube, this will be long gone and no longer available. Uh, it actually is about four months old at the time of this review. A lot older than I was uh, anticipating uh, it being when I actually did the recording. So this is coming in at, well, it's kind of tough to read on the can. So I actually had to look it up on uh, untapped. 8.5% alcohol by volume, 95 IBU on this thing. Uh, four hops used are Centennial, Mosaic, uh, Strata, Strata, and uh, let's see here, Sultana. Not real familiar with that one there. Uh, it says this is a piney predator with tropically timage plumage. Okay, limited release, like I said. So uh, this is actually pretty cool artwork um, on here. This is something a little bit different than Ryan Guys typically does with their artwork. So definitely pretty cool there. And I will be using the Ryan Guys uh, Brewing uh, Shaker Pint glass there. Recently rinsed, so should all be good. So I'm going to crack this uh, big, hoppy, bitter Imperial IPA open. Get a pour on it. And uh, while I'm doing that, uh, think about becoming a subscriber if you're not already. I hope you like what you see here and give the video a thumbs up. And I hope you drop a comment down there. Let me know what you think. If you had anything from Ryan Guys uh, out of Cincinnati, Ohio, if you're in the Ohio, uh, Indiana, maybe Kentucky area, you might have had something from them. So just about two fingers ahead. We will actually just get it all in here. So we're still looking at a couple fingers I've had there, finger and a half, approaching two fingers anyway. Again, this is 8.5% alcohol by volume, uh, 95 on the IBU. So like I said, uh, there are some, you know, just over finger, there's some fisheye bubbles, dish soapy style bubbles popping away in there. But there is kind of a frothiness to this as well. Doesn't look like it's going to stick around a real long time. Color on that, uh, just a golden color. Uh, I can see through it, yeah, haziness, you know, silhouette I can see through there. Yeah, you can see it there. Just a nice haziness to it. As far as the nose, oh yeah, this is a, this has got a big tropical, big tropical nose on it. Lots of notes there, tropical notes. Like a tangerine. Like a pineapple, I get like a pineapple off of the yeah pineapple on this thing here. Some citrus stuff, like I said, tangerine. I get like tangerine, almost a, a mild grapefruit. But there's a good, there's like a pineapple on here that's really refreshing. Or not like it's gonna be refreshing. Does got that very hoppy nose to it, uh, kind of an earthiness to it, earthy. Pineapple-y, tropical, maybe some tangerine, mild citrus stuff, or some grapefruit. That's pretty much it there. So let's get a drink on this thing. Yeah. Okay. So, full-bodied mouthfeel. Nice carbonation. Uh, you know, like pins on the tongue. So, it's got bitterness on the next level to this, next level bitterness to it. If you like bitter beers, like bitter L's, IPA's, Pellos, whatever, uh, you probably dig this one here. It's got a nice, uh, nice bitter kick in the mouth there. So right up front, slaps you in the face with that bitter hoppiness. Uh, kind of a generic, non-discreet tropical, um, you know, tropical flavor up front. <clears throat> but as it passes through the palate, it does really intensify with flavor. 
get a little bit of a, just a generic citrusness coming through. Um, by the time it gets to the back end, a little bit of a pininess on the tail end. Just, just a mild pininess to this. It's nothing crazy, just a mild one. But it's bitter and hoppy from the beginning to the very end. Um, and I'm a fan of hoppy bears. And this is actually pretty good. Now, it is a limited release. Um, I recommend this. If you're a fan of hoppy bitter beers, uh, you know, this would be a great one. I don't know if they'll release it again or anything like that. But it's definitely pretty good. Uh, not a, really a whole lot else to say about it. Um, get, punching this in, I get a 4.25 out of 5. As it's uh, kind of warming up a little bit. It's been out of the refrigerator a few. As it's kind of warming up a little bit, um, I'm sure more of the flavors will open up and I'll get a lot more of the, the goodiness uh, from the hops that are in this thing. Yeah, overall, very good. I have no problem just uh, drinking away at this one here. Um, again, nice bitter beer. Nice to have one every once in a while that just, you know, kicks you in the nuts and let you know let you know how um, bitter it can be. Anyhow, like, subscribe, comment, check me out on uh, social media, and uh, check out my other content. Thanks for watching.